Welcome to this episode of Crocheting with Dakota. I am going to teach you how to do the star stitch, which is this one here. So, let's get started. You will need, of course, yarn, a crochet hook, and a darning needle, and a pair of scissors. To begin this one, you want a chain of um, chain stitches. Maybe I should say a row of chain stitches to start with. And you're going to do groups of two. So let's get started with getting your slip knot going. And let's try that again. Okay. Ooh, having difficulties today. Okay, there we go. on the hook. So, however long you want it, you're going to go groups of two. So one and two, one and two, one and two, one and two. Now I'm making a pretty big thing, so I'm going to do lots of them. Two, two. I'm going to get out a ruler. I want mine to be about a foot, foot long, and I'm not quite there. Right now I'm about nine inches, so I need to go further. One, two. Okay, I'm at the foot, and I'm going to double count these because I kind of lost count there. I always like to double and triple check my stitch counts before I get started. So there's nothing quite like getting to the end and realizing you've done it wrong or getting on to the next row. Okay. And that was my last two. Yes. Okay. Okay. Once you get your chain to the length you want, in my case I want it to be a foot long. So as you can see at the end of the ruler, it's about a foot long there. You add one chain at the end, so there's my extra chain one, and then we're going to insert our hook into the second one over. So not this one here, but this one. So there's, oh, okay, only one of the chains, there we go, okay. There's one, and then pull through. And you're going to leave your loops on your hook until you get six. So, get it. go over the next chain over, insert, and yarn over, pull through, insert to the next chain, yarn over, pull through, I have four loops on my hook, insert, yarn over, pull through, I have five, insert, yarn over, now I have six. So now I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull through all six of those loops. Okay, and now I'm going to yarn over again and I've created a little eye there in the center. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to take our hook and insert into that eye. I'm ready to yarn over and pull through and now you have this grouping here. So you want to insert your hook into the post between your first one and your second one here on this side. Or I should say your fifth and sixth one that you did. So we're going to go in there. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through. Now you have three loops on your hook. And now you have this bigger chain here, where chain space, where you did your last um, partial single crochet into, uh, where you're going to go now. So you're going to yarn over and pull through. Okay. And now this is why you did groups of two, because you're going to do two new uh, chains into 
there, so that's one and two. So now you have six loops on your hook again. So you extend by two each time. So that's why you did groups of two. So now you're yarning over and pulling through all six loops. You yarn over again to close that off and you create that eye. And so you kind of see the beginning of your two, first two stars there. So we're going to insert our hook into the eye again. Oh, hook came off. Okay, insert into the eye. There we go. Yarn over and pull through. And again, between these last two stitches that you did here, so insert the hook there. Yarn over and pull through. You have three loops on your hook, and then into your last stitch there, into that eye that you had. Not your eye. Um, chain space. There we go. Sorry. Okay, now we're going to extend two again, so one and two, so we're going to insert into the chain there. Yarn over, pull through. Now you have five stitches. You're going to go into the next chain space and yarn over and pull through, and you have six. Yarning over and pulling through all six. Yarn over and pull through there. So now you have three beginning of your stars. Okay, insert into the eye again, yarn over, pull through, and you're going to insert in between these last two. There we go. Yarn over and pull through, and then into your chain space from the last um, round. On our vocal through, and now two new chains. Insert hook, pull through. Insert hook into the next one over. Pull through. There we go. So now you have six. Now you're yarning over and pulling through all six again. Yarn over, and you close that, and you make your next die. So you do that all the way across, and each time you're extending by two. So that's why you did groups of two. So there's one loop, two loop, actually three loops, there we go. That's four loops, and now we're extending by two. One and two. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through all six. Yarn over and close that off. So that's the beginning of the star stitch. The next clip to finish it will be when we come across, come back across. So I'm going to finish going all the way across here, and when I get to the end, I'll pick up again. Okay, I got to the end here with my last stitch. As you can see, it's a long row there, and your crochet will curl. That's okay. It's normal. So when you get to the end, you will have one extra loop there. So what you're going to do is do a half double crochet into that. So that's a yarn over, insert into the hole, pull through, and then you're going to pull through all three loops on your hook. And then you're going to chain one, and then you're going to turn your work. Okay. Now you're going to. Um, I did. Now you're going to chain one, and you're going to do a single crochet into this loop here. And then you can see this eye hole that um, was made in each one of these here. You can see on the back. And you're going to do a single crochet into there. This first one, you only do one. 
and then in the next one you do two. So you do two single crochets. And then find your next eye hole here. And you do two single crochets in there as well. You do that all the way across. So it's the first one that you when you first turn that you only do one. The rest you do two single crochets. And this is how you complete that star stitch with the single crochets. So let me finish this one and I'll turn it back over so you can see that. So you can see these are completed stars. So let's continue going. Sometimes you have to force your hook into that hole because it gets a bit tight. And you do this all the way across. So you can see that your stars are being finished. So I'm going to continue across and when I get to the end I'll show you what to do next. Okay. Once you get to the end and you do your two stitches, two single crochets into your last eye, you're left with this little gap here. So what I do is I do a single crochet into this last loop here. And then you chain two, one and two, and then you turn your work. And you can see a complete row of full star stitches. So, there you go. That's one row. I mean, if you wanted to, you could stop here. I mean, we could make a nice bookmark. Or you can make it longer, make a headband, or even a nice bracelet. So you can do many things with just one row of stitches, star stitches. Although it is consistent, consisting of two rows of stitching. Okay, but if you want to add on to it, do another row, you do that chain two. If not, you wouldn't chain two, you would simply tie it off. Okay, but since we're continuing, we chain two. You have your yarn here going into this one, and you're going to not go into there, you're going to the second one here. You're going to find one, there's three pieces of yarn. There's, it's like a braid here. Let's see if I can focus on that, yeah. There's one here, one here, and this thumb, and then one in the middle. You're going to end up doing, going into both, into two of those. So you're going to put your hook through one and pull yarn through. And now you're going to find a second one in that same chain. Sometimes you have to kind of pinch it with your other hand to get your hook through. There we go. And now we're going to yarn over and pull through again. So now you have three loops on your hook. Now to create that fourth, you're going to go into this one here at the bottom, your first actual stitch of the row. Okay. And it's going to look like a little V on top because this row created these. So you went in through that one V there. So you yarn over and pull through. But you only have four loops on your hook. Okay. And then how we did on this row, how you would extend by two chains, it's extending by two stitches. So you put your hook through the next V, yarn over, put through, pull through. So that was one. And this was this is two. So now you have six loops on your hook. So you yarn over and pull through all six. Yarn over, pull through, and then you have your little eye again. So we'll continue like normal now. So one loop into there, and then in between these two stitches, so there's your three loops, and then into this big loop here. So that's your four. And now we're extending by two again. So that's one and two. And your six loops on your hook. So now you're going to yarn over and pull through all six. Yarn over, pull through, and create that eye. And you do that all the way across to begin your second row of your star stitches. 
So I'm going to insert here and in between the stitches and then in your originating hole there and then extend by two. I only went through one of the loops there. I want to go through under both loops of the V. Okay, so it's six. So yarn over and pull through. And then you have three beginning star stitches. So I'm going to go all the way across and I'll pick up again to show you how to go back across again. Okay, I've gotten to the end. I did my last star stitch. And again, there's this gap here, so I'm going to do a single crochet. Actually, I did a half double crochet down here, so let's do that again. Okay. And now I'm going to turn my work. Actually, let's do a chain first. Chain first twists better that way, though. And move my ruler out of the way. That's measuring. Okay. We're going to be doing single crochets, so we're going to single crochet into this loop here. And then we find our eye. And we, on the first one, you only do one single crochet. And then your next one over, you're going to do two single crochets. And you do that all the way across, just like you did the previous time. So this is basically it for the star stitch. It's one star stitch consists of two rows. It's a single crochet that you're doing on this row is what completes the star stitch. So you can get a full star. Otherwise, it looks like you have half a star. So you do the, the, your single crochets all the way across, and you'll end up with two rows now. So let's go all the way to the end. I'll meet you there. The end. So just remember, the first one, when you're doing your single crochets, only your first star gets one single crochet, and your rest get two double. I mean, excuse me, two single crochets, not just one. So you're gonna do that all the way across. It's a bit easier once you do it a bit. You can find those um, centers a bit easier. Some of them, if you make them tight, uh, take a little bit of force to get your hook through. Others go in real simple. So it just depends on how tight you did your previous row. So when I get to the end, I'll meet you there. Okay, I got to the end there and I did my last single crochet. And this is the back. And this is what the front looks like now once you have two complete rows. And you can end it here if you want and tie off. Or you can continue going and, going and create a bigger fabric. Um, just a note, when I first measured this out, we made a chain that measured 12 inches long and now this only measures 10 inches so this shrinks by 2 inches so whatever size you want to make your fabric lengthwise um, uh, widthwise excuse me you need to add 2 inches worth of chains so if you want a 12 inch you're going to have to make it 14 inches with chains so that when you start doing your stitches it will come out to 12. So this one ended up coming out to 10 because it shortened by that 2 inches. So that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you learned how to do the star stitch well. Have fun with it. I think it's a pretty design and it's still quite flat. It doesn't get all lumpy and still twists a little. So that will straighten out a little bit and also I'll have to um, press it later. Um, blocking it is what it's called. Um, I'll do a video on that later on how to do that probably with this piece <laughs> when I'm actually done with it. So thanks for watching. Um, give the video a thumbs up. 
uh, subscribe, and stay tuned for future videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.